had a lot of great questions in the last few days about arguments and how arguments are passed in. So it is true that passing arguments to a computer is sort of strange. Um, and because we typically want our system programs to be able to respond to arguments, main is a magical function call that we have to have. So here's an example where we have main that has no arguments at all. So when I run this program, it just says, hello arguments. So now if I pass an argument to this program, there's no way for me to find out anything about it. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to check uh, to make sure that I'm actually passing arguments to this function. And I am. I'm passing this argument paging Dr. Loggins. So I'm passing something in, but nothing's coming to me because main doesn't know about the arguments it should receive. So I'm going to change main to a different function signature. And this function signature has uh, a little bit more information that gets passed in because, i just make a little bit more space here. So this is an equivalent function, except that the number of input arguments is different. So now I'm going to run this program again. Now I'm going to receive a number of arguments. And it runs, but still I don't know anything about them. But main is still called. So it actually doesn't matter whether I, I call this argc or numargs. I can change the name of the variable that's passed in with absolutely no change. So I can call this anything. As long as it's an integer, my system is going to, my, my program is going to run. So then the question is, what can I do with these arguments? So this is from a previous example. I called it still numargs. I don't have a variable called numargs, and so this is going to tell me, uh, hey, dummy, you're using this undeclared identifier numargs. But I can actually choose whatever I choose to call this variable. And again, I can change this to anything as long as this value matches the value that's passed in. Everything we're going to be fine. So now we're going to run this. And it tells me that I actually received a command line argument. So it turns out that integer being the, the input value here, again, like I said, is a magical value. So I can actually delete this care star array and only have main take a number of integers. So this will still run. I still received the command line argument. But I have this error that says, hey, or this warning, only one parameter on main declaration. So this warning is telling me, you defined main to take in an integer of the number of arguments, but you don't know what any of those arguments are. So this is just telling me, dummy, why did you find out the number of arguments you have if you don't know what those arguments are? And it's true that this value needs to be an int. So I can take the array of argument values and go ahead and paste it in first, and then have the int second. And now it's not going to compile. So if I try to build this, it fails and says, if you want to have main have a parameter, the first parameter of main must be of type int. So you can't have the first parameter of main be anything except void or int. If you're going to have a value at all, it needs to be an integer value. So now everything should be fine again. I can run my program and tell that I actually did receive a command line argument. If I want to find out what those arguments are, now I have to, for example, printf first argument after file name is equal to, and then here I can say argv number one. Because you remember, argv is zero index. So the zeroth value is the name of the executable. The first value is the name of the first command line argument. So this should say paging, although we'll see what it says. Yep, paging, first argument after the file name. Because my first argument, I'm going to come back here and show you how I passed it in. The first argument actually had three words in it, paging Dr. Loggins. I could try to put this in quotes. It might be different, but I don't think it will be. So I want to pass it all as one string, like this. Now I get one argument, paging Dr. Loggins, because it put everything inside the quotes as a single string. All right, 
This may have caused more trouble for some of you, or it may have helped others out. Please post questions to YouTube or to Piazza if you're trying to figure out what's going on. If you think you might be able to figure it out by creating your own experiment like this, go ahead and make it happen and send me the results. I'd be glad to see it.